Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good Tuesday afternoon. I'm Veronica Gabriel. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Michigan's first case of triple E in 2020 has now been confirmed. Health officials found the disease in a horse in Clare County. Health officials say triple E is a viral disease transmitted by mosquitoes to both humans and animals. It's one of the most dangerous mosquito borne diseases in the U.S. and it can develop into severe encephalitis. In 2019, Michigan experienced its worst outbreak of triple E ever recorded in the state with 10 human cases. That includes six deaths and 50 cases in animals. We're learning Governor Whitmer is scheduled to speak at the Democratic National Convention. The speakers were announced this morning. The governor is scheduled for Monday, August 17th. Other leaders are also scheduled that day, including Senator Bernie Sanders and former First Lady Michelle Obama. We're expecting the Democratic vice presidential nominee to be announced sometime this week. That person will give remarks on Wednesday, August 19th. Well, state investigators will start looking at the remaining portion of the failed Edenville Dam. Its failure and the failure of the Sanford Lake Dam destroyed 150 houses and caused more than $200 million in damage to Midland County. The state says it took over assessing the, a dam because its owner, Boyce Hydro, failed to comply with a federal court order to look into what additional work might be needed to stabilize it. Boyce Hydro has now filed for bankruptcy protection. Midland will host a virtual town hall tonight as it faces the aftermath of the historic flood and the ongoing pandemic. The panel features several local leaders and will take questions through Zoom. It runs from 7.15 to 8 o'clock tonight. If you'd like to register, you can head over to the hot link section of our website, WNEM.com. Now here's meteorologist Chris Eastlake with a look at your forecast. Hey Chris. Hi there Veronica. Temperatures today should be quite pleasant later this afternoon. Already in the 70s and many spots for the lunch hour. It should be right around the low to mid 80s this afternoon. Could be a touch cooler near the lakeshore, but that not unexpected. The best news of all though, our humidity levels drop after a very humid weekend. We do expect dew points to fall into the 40s and 50s this afternoon and this evening and will likely stay in that range tomorrow as well. High temperatures the next five days should fluctuate between the mid 80s to potentially upper 80s at times, which is around 5 to 10 degrees above where we usually are this time of year. Our average high right around 80 will be above that mark for much of this week, but it should be pretty comfortable. Humidity values do stay low for much of this week and we'll have nothing but sunshine through the afternoon and also the evening hours. We'll keep the clear skies going overnight into tomorrow morning and do it all over again on Wednesday with temperatures just a touch warmer tomorrow afternoon. Seven day forecast shows plenty of sun through the end of the work week. Next chance for rain, not until the weekend on Saturday, and even that chance appears to be fleeting. Sunday, the next best chance before we dry out again on Monday of next week. Remember to tune into WNEM TV5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.